Wow, everybody's in. Good evening. Hello. Hi, Mario. I saw Harold a few minutes ago. He is here, but now he's probably have to reconnect. I think Feindlum was also in. He is. Yeah, I all dropped out for some reason. And we're going to be of Gimel, 23 today. But you have, you have to read the Mishnah, right? Echad Bora Rabim. A bore is a water hole, which you just dig a hole and it fills with rainwater. A be'er is a natural spring. So the leniency of the passe birose, of the beams, that were placed at the four corners to surround a well, they were placed, well, up until now we've been learning that it works for a bore as well as a be'er. This Mishnah says that a water hole owned by the public, and a natural spring, whether it's owned by the public or an individual, we can use this leniency of the boards. But you cannot use this leniency for a private water hole. There you need a standard you need walls of 10 tfachim, at least 10 tfachim high, uh, all the way around. The Rabbi Akiva. Of course, you can have an opening of 10 amas. That's it. And you can't have more, more opening than wall. Of course, by the Pasei Biros, you're allowed to. That's the leniency. Rav Yudah ben Bava Oimer, ain't oisin pasim elabeer rabim bilvad. He says, that the leniency of the of the Pasibi Rose is only for publicly owned wells, like a, a spring, natural spring or a well. The Lashar Oisin Chagor Gavar Sartfachim. You have to use a rope, a rope uh, wall, like we said, that are ten Tvachim high, which are you gotta put at least the first rope has to be within three Tvachim of the ground, the other ropes have to be within three Tvachim of the other ropes, and that's called a rope wall using the using Lavud. I'm Rav Yosef from Yudah Mar Shmuel. Halacha, Rav Yudah Ben Bava. The halacha is that you um, can only do it for public wells, and that's the halacha of the Rambam that we pass it like Rav Yudah Ben Bava. Bar Rav Yosef from Rav Yudah Mar Shmuel. Lo yutru pass biros. Ella lebe'er maim chayim bilvad. Another statement was that the pasibiros are only used for, uh, you know, wells or springs, not a not a a water hole. Well, lechura, isn't that what we said when we said that lachas are greater than bava? Why do you have to repeat it? The Gemara says tricha you have to repeat it. The Yashmi alach rabbi ben bava. If the only thing you said was that the lachas are greater than bava, hava mina de rabim. I might have thought that as long as it's owned by public, I feel a bit even a water hole, not a well. Bahaidik Tani Bear Rabin, why did it specifically spare Rabin? La Fukin Rabbi Kiva, to show that he disagrees with Rabbi Kiva, who, allow, who allowed in some instances, if it was privately owned, a well. Kamash Milan, the low hit true Pasibiros El Bear Maimcham, you never allow to use the Pasibiros for a a water hole, it's always got to be for a, for a spring. If I would have been told the second halacha that you could only use the Pasibi Rose for a, wet, for a spring, maybe it would have included even a yachid. That it's only a spring that's owned by the public. Mission. 
The Odom Rav Yudah ben Bava. Rav Yudah ben Bava said another halacha. Hagina v'akarfev. You have a garden or an area that it's not used for residential purposes. Hagina v'akarfev. Shein shivim ama v'shirayim al shivim ama v'shirayim. 70 and two thirds by 72 thirds square, which equals 5,000 square amis. So Amukovas got your Gavosar Tfachim. It has a wall around it, 10 Tfachim, a Tatlan Besolcha. Only up to 5,000 square amis. If, it's, if, if people don't dwell there, you cannot make it bigger than that. Up until 5,000 square amis, you can carry if it's got walls. Uvavad, so Rabban Bava adds the following qualification. It's not just that. Uvavad she bo shemeira o bezdira. It has to be, it has to have a hut for a watchman. O shete smuchle here has to be close to a city. We'll see. So Machlok is how close? Some say 70 Amis, some say within 2,000 Amis. But you can't just carry in, in an area 5,000 square Amis in a car faith unless it has those qualifications. Rav Yudah Amar Afilu ain't by labor v'siyach l'mo'arim at times of. If it has a, 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 a water hole or a cave, that's enough for dira purposes, for dwelling purposes. And then you'd be allowed to carry in that area. Rabbi Kiva is the most lenient. As long as it's square, 70 and two thirds and 70 and two thirds, you can carry in such a walled area, even though it's not meant for Dira purposes. Shulchan Aruch Paskins, like that you can carry in such a place 5,000 square amas, even if it's a rectangle, even if the length is double the width. Because we'll see the halachas are going to be like Rabbi Akiva and Rabbi Yoisi. Back to the Mishnah. Rabbi Yezer Oimer, Im haisa orka yosra rachma filo ha-ma'achas e'en metatham besolcha. Has to be perfectly square, says Rabbi Yezer. If it's one amma longer than it's wide, even though it calculates to 5,000 square amas, you can't, can't carry there. So he requires that it be square. Rabbi Yosef, I feel arka, pishtayim barachum, metatam, so if it was two times long as it is wide, for example, 100 by 50 amas, which would be 5,000 square amas. It's not square, it's rectangular. 100 long, and 50 wide, you could carry there. We're going to see. The reason for that is because that's the measurement of the Beis Hamikdash. The full measurement of the Harabayas was 100 by 50. And that's where, and, and, and it was not a, a Mokam Dira, yet you could carry there. But who so, cares? I mean, the Beis Hamikdash was walled, and this we're talking about is unwalled. No, it's walled. Kenny? This area, aren't we saying that if it's this specific shape, even without a wall, you can carry in it? No. Look at the Mishnah. Mukafas Gadir Gavo Asar Tfachim. The Tatlin Besochad. It's got to have a wall. How could you carry? It's, you've got if it to has fit. to have a wall. Who cares what size it is? No, no. If it has a wall, Los Angeles has a wall. Hang Nobody on. Cares. Kenny, great. Hang on. Hang on. If it's a if it's a an, if it's a place that's designated for human habitation, we're going to see there's no limits. It could be seventy five thousand square amas. So so, but a car for a gina, you don't dwell there. A car is like an open uh, area, maybe for storage, but no dwelling. So there, there's a limit to how much it's. Even if it's walled, you can only it can only be five thousand square amas. And then there's this debate, does it have to be square or rectangle? But it can't be more than five. And the reason we learned it out from the base of Midrash, base of Midrash was also, nobody lived there. There wasn't a dwelling place. You could say, well, they slept there at night. 
But yeah. it, that, no, but that's on the side. The, the area of the Azara outside of the office space was 100 by 50. Nobody dwelled, nobody slept there. They slept on, in the offices on the side. Okay, so, and then we'll, in a Hanami. So we'll see, what about a big city or what about the, uh, a, a big area, you know, like, okay. So we'll see, like the Houston Astrodome, which is bigger than five, you know, 5,000 square miles, but if it has dwelling places there, you see, then, then, then you might be allowed to use it even though it's bigger than 5,000 square miles. A corner of a kiva doesn't have to have anything. It doesn't have to have a board, doesn't have a siach, doesn't have the ma'ara, doesn't have to have a beishomera, it doesn't have to be smuchal ear. He says as long as it's walled up to 5,000 square miles, even if it's not used for dwelling, you can carry there. So what did you mean carry? It says the city, we can carry in the city because it has an Eruv with its Surah Sapesach, doesn't have walls, but your Shalayim has walls, but that's a dira. They're, 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 that's a dwelling place. People dwell there. Okay? That's where we are so far in the Mishnah. On Rabbi Lo, Yishomatim Rabbi Lozer, Vafilu Hikebeis Kur, that there is no limit, that even a Gina could be 30 times the 5,000 square Amis. Because a core is 30 times uh, base sasayim. The chen shamati mimenu, an shei chotzer. So I, I heard another halacha from Avalozer. He said, an shei chotzer sheshochach echad mehen velo ire. So let's say you have a big chotzer and 20 different batim open up into the chotzer. Each bias is a Rishus HaYochid. The Chatzar is a Rishus HaYochid. But since it's a jointly owned place, Chazal made a Gzeira that you can't carry from this Rishus HaYochid, your house, into the Chatzar, which is a Rishus HaYochid. Why not? Since it's owned by many people, you will be confused and you'll come to carry from Rishus HaYochid, Rishus HaRabim. What's the solution? All 20 people who live there donate a dollar. They buy a loaf of bread. They park the loaf of bread into one of the people's houses. That fictionally creates a situation where that one house owns everything. So now it's only one owner. So therefore, everyone can now carry from their house into the chutzr. That's the concept of Erev Chatzeros. Now, everybody has to participate. If one person doesn't participate, we're going to see it can ruin the Erev. But he can withdraw. Now, if he withdraws or forgot, so the, the remaining Erev can be okay, except his house, right? You can't go from his house into the chutzr. Avalahem mutter. He can go into the other people's houses as a guest and to his house through the chutzr. But he can't bring his own stuff into the chutzr. Arkablim is the name of a certain bitter vegetable. And he said, you can use this vegetable. It grew near palm trees. He said, this, is so, this would be kosher for moror. However, I asked all the other Tamidim, did you hear the same thing? And he never heard, he couldn't get corroborating story. Now you notice that this Mishnah opened up with, an, with the word va'od. You know what? Besides the Mishnah, we, besides the halacha that we quoted in the previous Mishnah, here is another halacha. My Tana Diktani Va'od. Why did this Mishnah start off with Va'od? 
Rav Yudah ben Bava gave us a chumra in the previous Mishnah, where he said you can only use the pasuk b'rose for be'er rabim. So you know what is it? Because he's adding another chumra here, that in order to be able to carry in a five thousand square amos area, it's not just enough that it be walled. There has to be a base dira there. It has to be smucha la'ir. So the va'od is to tell, come to tell me that there's another chumra. We have Rabbi Yehuda as well, who mentioned a previous chumrah. Right here also he's talking about a chumrah. We didn't say the old by him. More says, Hasam Afsakur Rabbanon. Because over there, they had stopped and commented on Rabbi Yehuda's statement. But But here we flowed right into Rabbi Yehuda Bavu without a stop. That's why. He gets a va'od, Rabbi Yudah doesn't get a va'od. Frank the Gemara v'kol heichet the Avsake Rabbanon loktani va'od. Well, wherever the Chachamim stop in the middle, the next statement doesn't say va'od. I'll show you not so. Bar Rabbi Yezer the Sukkah. We have a din in Sukkah. Rashi says Rabbi Yezer remember arba asrei suudos chay vadim leechol the Sukkah. That you have to eat fourteen meals in the Sukkah. The Chachamim ayim ein ledaver kids. We can eat as many as you want. And then immediately, so ah, you see that the Chachamim intervene, and it still said, yeah, they interrupted in the same subject matter. Then you can say, but but, but here they, they talked to Rabbi Yudah about something completely different. And that's why they didn't use by the by, by Rabbi Yehuda. Rabbi Kiva Oimer, Afilu Ein Boechad Mikolelu Matan Besocha. Rabbi Kiva was the most lenient, and said, even if it's not near a city, even if it doesn't have a base Shoimer, even if it doesn't have a base Dira, you can carry up to five thousand square rooms. Freight Gemara Rabbi Kiva Anu Tanakama. I mean, that's the Tanakama of the previous mission that said you can carry up to five thousand square rooms. How is Rabbi Kiva different? He could be not a Dover Muad. There is a difference. The Tanya, Rabbi Yudah Oimer, Dover Muad, Yeshal Shivi Mama Vishirayim. Velo Nasnu Chachamim Boshir. Vekamashir Sasayim Chachatzer Amishkan. Meaning, the difference, if you calculate uh, 70 and two thirds by 70 and two thirds, it's a little less than 5,000. It's like five, five amas less than 5,000. It's like 4,990 something. But the Chachamim hold it's exactly 5,000. 100 by 50 because it's the shear of the Mishkan. The, the way they came up with- By the way, but, but Rabbi Akiva says that it doesn't have to be square because the Mishkan wasn't square. Yeah, with the, so that's exactly the point. The Mishkan was not square. It was 100 by 50 rectangular. It equaled 5,000 square rooms. Right. The holds it must be square. So how do you get 5,000 in square? 70 and two-thirds times 70 and two-thirds is 4,994. That's the closest. Or 92. That's the closest you can come to 5,000 square rooms. And Rabbi Kiva holds Dafka it was square. And that's the closest you can come. If it's 71 by 71, you're above 5,000. That's, you know, that's not how the Shulchan Aruch Paskins. It, it uses Rabbi Akiva. Look in the Shulchan Aruch. No, the Shulchan Aruch Paskins that, that, we go, that you can be 5,000 square amas or up to twice the length. They hold you can be because they hold like Rabbi Akiva and Rabbi Yoisi who learned the Mishnah that a filu arka pishnai berachos. The shulchan aruch is pasuk like a commentary. So, uh, he said, he said, uh, according to what I, I, I mean, just uh, it's permitted to carry an enclosed area even if it is not enclosed for the purpose of residence, provides not larger than the area of two bakes up, or about five thousand square. Feet, even if its shape is not square, this is in accordance with the opinions of Rabbi Akiva and Rabbi Yossi, as the Gemara states in Alachah. The, the key word you just said is about. 
because Rabbi Kiva, that's the, the Rabbi Kiva, we just asked, what's the nafkamina between the Tanakama and Rabbi Akiva? No, I hear, but you're saying that Rabbi Akiva says it's square. And it's aloha, yeah, I, I hear what you're saying about the amount. Rabbi Akiva's uh, opinion was square. And then Rabbi Yoisi says, Afilu arka pishnayim berachva metatlan besocha. So the Shulchan Aruch paskins like Kedivir Rabbi Kiva ver Rabbi Yoisi. Shekein nifzik halacha bigmora like both of them. So it's a combination of the two that Rabbi Kiva is the one who came up with 4,992. And it could be rectangular. Even though Rabbi Kiva holds it has to be square, we don't paskin like that. We paskin yeah, like that. Okay. But that's the, and the, so the difference between the Chachami, the Tanakhan, and Rabbi Kiva is this difference between 5,000 square amas and 4,992, like Rabbi Akiva. Now, Menon Amili, how do we know what the dimension or what the area in the Mishkan was? Am Rabbi Yudad, Am Rakra, Oirech Echad Sermeya Ba'ama, the length was 100, Verochav Chamishim, Bachamishim, the width was 50. Amra Toira, Tol Chamishim, Vesavev Chamishim. Sha'arku Yesra al Rachbo, because remember, the length was greater than the width. They took this extra 50 and they, they put it around a 50 by 50 square to create a square of 70 by two thirds. That the square now, you, you distributed the other 50 amis in the rectangle around the square, which is how you got a square of 70, 70, and 70 by two thirds, 70 and two thirds by 70 and two thirds. So Pshat the Krabba Mike Sieve. Where do you see the Pshat in the Pasuk like that? Amra Baya Hamid Mishkan al Sfas Khamishim. Kide Shay Khamishim Mamalafana Vesri Mamal Khal Ruach for Ruach. Right? There'll be 50 and 50 and 20 on either side. You, you, they did it by 10 and 10. Right? They, 10 on one side, 10 on the other side. So they widened this the square 50 by, by 10 and 10. And you do that on all sides. So you had a square of 70 and two thirds. Rabbi Ezra Oimer, Im Isa Orka. Rabbi Ezra said that you that it will not be kosher if the length is greater than the width. I batan Rabbi Ezra Oimer, Im Isa Orka, Yosra Pishtai Barach Lafilo Amachas Emetatan Besocha. If it was, but Rabbi Ezra says that it can be longer than it is wide. That means if it's greater than even by one ama length by width, then you can't, but otherwise you can. So how can you say he doesn't allow that? He's talking about, it's allowed to be double the length as long as it's 50 amas wide. That means it could be 100 by, it can be 5,000 square amas, 100 by 50 would also work. That's exactly Rab Yoisi. So, but how could it, there's got to be a difference between Rabbi Yezra and Rabbi Yoisi. It could be nai ribua de ribua. Rabbi Yezra saw the Rashi, Arka Yoisir Mishnai Baruch Vayimitatlin. That if its length is greater than its width, you can't carry there. Umiyu, ikara arka pishnai baruch vayimitatlin v'lesli ribua. It's not square. Umiyavi im rabbi lo mivis ribachi ktani. But if it's less than two by one, you could carry. But Rav Yosef says, really, the square is Iker. And then you add from there the way we did the analysis, adding 10 and 10 on either side. If the hypotenuse, according to Rabbi Yezer, if the, if the, right, if you, you, know, you make a hypotenuse, you divide it with a diagonal line, if that diagonal is greater than, than double its length, then, 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 then you would not be allowed to use it. That's the ribua de ribua business. Itma, am rav yezer, am rav shmuel, halacha krab yoisi, right? That it can be rectangular. Viravibi am rav yezer, am shmuel, halacha krab yikiva. Vitarvayar lakula, they're both going lakula. 
so we use a combination of the two. That it does, it can be it doesn't have to be square, and it can be up to five thousand square amas. Now, why do I have to be told that? Utsricha. Ernie, how big is that in our uh, five thousand square amas today? In our um, because no, an amma is two an amma is two feet. So you're talking about 140 feet by 140 feet. It's not very big. It's an acre. It's 100, like what is our, what are the demands, like our, uh, our houses, you know, they're like 75. A half acre, a half acre is 21,000 21, feet. A full acre is 42, 43,000. Okay, so what's 100, so hang on, 140 times 140 is 19,600 square feet. About 20,000 yes. square feet. It's just, it's, just, it's just half an Less acre. Less than half an acre. Less yeah. than half an acre. So how do you make an A-roof in a big town? I mean, I don't say you can only no, no, this. That, that, an A-roof is gonna, we're gonna use Sursa Pesach. An A-roof is gonna, this is like a, how about this? This how is about, a private domain? No, yes. How about a, like a playground that's encircled by a fencing? There's no Dira there. So you could only carry there if it's if it's less than five thousand square amas, even if it is fenced in completely. There is a maximum of an area not used for dwelling. Now, on the other hand, if there's a ranch house connected to a, a to a ranch, and the ranch is, has walls all the way around it up to ten tefachim, it could be a thousand square miles, and you can carry there, as long as it's hookah fladira. As long as it's connected to a dira, then there's no limit to how big an enclosure can be and you can carry there. But if there's no dira there, that's what we're, that's a car faith or a gina, then you have a limit, even if it's got a wall, you can't get, remember, a city doesn't have a wall, Los Angeles doesn't have a wall around it. We created Surah Pesach to allow us to carry there through the concept of, of, of Eru. And we will we'll learn that later on, God willing. But that's not that's not what we're dealing with yet here. So the Shaila is now, why did it have to be told both? Maybe I would have thought that Rabbi Yossi is not arguing on the requirement that you need a guard hut or a house there. The, the main cool of Rabbi Akiva is that you can have a car faith without anything there. Right? Let's go, let's look at the Mishnah again. Rabbi Yudhav Baba says you need, you need it, besides the fact it's got to be walled, it's got to have a base dira, or it's got to be a guardhouse, or it has to be close to the city. Rabbi Yudhav says as long as there's a bor siyach ma'ara, you can do, use it. Rabbi Akiva doesn't require any of that. That's the cool of Rabbi Akiva. Kamash walak Rabbi Akiva. Yes, walak Rabbi Akiva, havamina darech cut and low. See, Walter, the, the havamina here, is that perhaps Rabbi, because we never really were told specifically that Rabbi Kiva requires a square. He said, by the fact that he said that, he gave you the dimensions of a square. So in fact, the Gemara's Havamina is that Rabbi Kiva didn't allow a rectangle. So the combination of the sheet of Rabbi Kiva and Rabbi Yossi gives us the Psak and Shulchan Aruch that it can be a rectangle like Rabbi Yossi, but it doesn't require uh, connection to a base dira, which is the cool of Rabbi Akiva. It's a strange shalocha because if you're learning it out from from the from the the, um, the yeah. Mishkan, so where did Rabbi Akiva come up with a square from? In other words, you're learning it out from the Mishkan. We know the oh, Mishkan. because of this because the pasuk said well, that's what Abaya stated. I made Mishkan asfas chamishim. They took the, that pasuk of orech achatz ramei ba'amav rocham chamishim b'chamishim. So they took the extra 50. Remember, if you take a rectangle 100 by 50 and get, and now you have, just make 50 by 50. So you have an extra 50. So they distributed the extra 50 in the way we described, 10, 10, you know, they, they took 20 and 20. So you had 70. Yeah, but who says, the, who says they distributed that way? Maybe that's how the puzzle learned. How, how did you learn that out? It says that they had come in. Frank, so, so Frank, so Frank the Gemara, like exactly like Walter, Pashte de Krob a Mike Seed. Where do you see Pshat and Posuk like that? Om Rabbi Yahan made Mishkan as Fas Chamishim. 
כדי שיהיה חמישים אמה לפניו ועשרים אמה לכל רוח ורוח. He learns it from the pasuk that, that, that you, you convert that rectangle into the square of 70 and two-thirds by 70 and two-thirds. Period. Then it says, Kar feith, shu yoyzim rebe sasayim shuk of ladira. Now, a kar feith that is hook of ladira, so we have learned that there's no limit. It could be even kur, could be kurayim, which is 150,000 a square saw, you know, a square on this. There's no sheep, there's no li- limit. However, it depends. Nizra rubo, if the majority of that area has been planted with seeds, harehi kagina v'asr, it's treated like a gina and you cannot carry uh, only up until 5,000 square amis. You'll, you'll have the, uh, the, the, Rashi says, Nizra Ruba Bizironi, Bitel Dira. So that is Mavatal, the fact that there's a Dira connected there. The Bizronim, Lo Dairanchi, people don't live among planted seeds. Vahavalegina, Vasula Tatal, Afisheno Nizra. Even in the areas that are, have been not seeded, you would not be able to walk there. The Botale Legabi Ruba, because it's like nullified to the row that's planted. Avul Benotea Ilonos, we'll see if you plant trees. People live in like a park-like area. That does not nullify the dira. Lo bitel diraso. The urchalistot, the shalilana story. People are hanging around trees all the time. Nita rubo, if it was planted with trees, hareo kachotzer, umutu, then it's like a chotzer that you, it's, it's like a real rishon, so you can carry there. So nizra rubo, amravuna bread rabbi yoshu, aloy amar nele yoyesu bebeis osayim. But when we say Osir, that means you can't carry more than 5,000 square amis. Abel Beis Osai Mutter. But up until Beis Osai, you can carry like our Mishnah, which is Tabar Agina. Kiman Kareb Shimon. However, this also requires the sheet of Rav Shimon. This not. Rav Shimon Oimer. Echot Gaganois. Echot Gagois. Roofs. The Echot Chatseros. Courtyards. The echad karfefos, karfef is like a gina. Rishus achasen lekelim sheshav subesoicha. So Rav Shimon is of the opinion that if your objects rested erev Shabbos going into Shabbos on a roof, you can move it from the roof to the chutzner and to the chutzner to the karfef. They're all one rishus. The chacham do not hold like that. Rashi says l'tata mizel uzel lekelim sheshav subesoicha. Even these things are owned by multiple people, even without a roof. But not if they started off in your house and took them out to the Chatzar later. Then it would be also Lot Sian Me Chatzar Karfe for Lagad. The bias for Karfe, Shte Rishu is saying, Your house and the Karfe for two Rishuas. I feel the Chad Gabi, even one person, forget about multiple people. Rabbi Shimon's Shita is that even if the roof, Chatzar, and Karfev are owned by multiple people, if objects start the Shabbos in any of those Rishuyos, they can go to all the Rishuyos. But they could not go, even according to Rabbi Shemin, from the bias to the Karfev, and or from the bias to the Chatzar, and then move them to the other areas. Bias for Karfev, Shtei Rishuyos, Afil Lechad Gavre. Rab Shimon Nami, Kivan de Nizra Rubo. So Rab Shimon as well, since this car faith has been planted in its majority, Haviahu mi Uta, Botele Legabi Ruba. The minority that's not planted is Mavatel, is nullified to the row that is planted. And it's as if the whole thing was planted. Okay, we'll continue this. We're in the middle of this interesting sugya, but we'll continue this tomorrow. The sheet of